Hi, welcome back to Leads Code. In this video, we discuss Leads Code problem three thousand four hundred seven substring matching pattern. So, problem is that you are given a string S and a pattern string P, where P contain exactly one star character. So, the star character in P can be replaced with any sequence of zero or more more characters. Return true if P can be made a substring of S. else it will be false so let's go to the example one first observation is that exactly one star character will be present correct in the string p and star can be replaced with zero or mo more character suppose if it is uh, replaced with zero character so it will be null If it is suppose replaced with a, then it will be it can be replaced with b. It can be possible c. Then it will be replaced with z also. Similarly, it can be replaced with a b. It is possible that a a with two character. This is also possible. In this way, it can be replaced with any number of character zero to any number of character. And character can be different also and the same also. Any character we, we can actually choose. So first of all, the example one. So the string is is lit lit code. lit code and the pattern string p is e e star e so star can be replaced with any any character like zero zero or more character so after repl after replacing with this uh, with any character we have to check that the final string p it is a um, substring of of s or not correct so suppose we we have re replaced the star character with empty so the our p will be E E E, correct. Then we have to check that this string is a part of sub uh, part of uh, substring of this string S. Is there any string present E E E? No. So this will be not possible. So again, it is replaced with suppose E E T C O D E. So I have replaced the star character with this T O C D. Okay, I can actually replace this star with any number of character, and the character can be any character we can actually choose. So that's why suppose we have choose this character, this string, T C O D, and this is actually the um, this is the input string E E, and this is also the this E last string. Now we have to check that this string, this modified string P, is a part of substring or not present in the string S. So E E T C O D. You can check this actually is present. E E T E E T C O D E. So this that's why we have to return true here. Correct. The example one is clear. Why it is true? Now next example, example two. The string S is uh, car. And pattern string P is. C star V. Now we have to check that after replacing this star with any character, zero or more character, the final string P is a substring or not, or or of string S. Now if we replace with um, suppose C A V, is a part of substring? No. Now you can check actually ultimately what what about the character we can we can actually place here. Suppose this is empty. We have actually replaced the star with em empty character. So the string will be C V. Is it any string uh, C V? No. So that's why you can check actually all the possible combination. Now you can check that uh, there is no po possible substring. So that's why you have to return false here. Correct. Now you can check for example two. Answer is false. Okay. Now what is the constant? First of all, the string length can be uh, within fifty. And the pattern length, the pattern string, it also possible the fifty. Now, they have mentioned that exactly one star character will be present. Okay, so this will be present in the string P. So, what is the possible uh, position? Can be possible for star character? It can be possible at the start, and it can be possible at the end. Correct. And it is possible that at the present at the mid, mid means not at the start or at the end. Some character present at the front and the uh, end also. So th three 
pose possible position are possible for star character now what will do if it is present in the font mean, means at the starting position so only one string will be present uh, if you remove this so i have to check that this string the string that is remain present in this like this suppose this is the um, p1 after removing the star this is the modified string okay this should be a part of the substring we don't we don't need to check that this star will be present or not correct we'll we'll check that the string p1 is a substring or pre present is a substring as a substring in the string s or not okay simply for suppose this is the p2 after removing this star i got a modified string p2 and star is present the star character is present at the end so i will check that this string p2 is a substring of string s or not okay because we don't need to we can actually if it is part of this suppose our string s is a b c d and uh, our our p is star uh, b c okay so if i remove this star is present at the front so if i remove this then our string is uh, string is b c so i have to check that this b c is a part of the substring or not i will check okay this is present so that's why i return true we, we we can actually replace here actually a we can actually replace empty also correct empty a b any any character we can replace okay suppose now the situation is the pattern p is b c star present at the end at the end now our string p1 is b c if i remove the star at the front the string is b c so i have to check that this b c is, is a part of substring or not for the string s okay this is present so that's why return true suppose now actually i have actually p is equal to a c then star now the star is present at the end so what is the uh, remaining string remaining string is ac so ac is a uh, substring of this string s no so that's why you can check we have to return false here whatever the actually you have you can actually replace this star character with any character you can actually check all the possible combination this will be not a part of substring because this character is not present this string correct so that's why this is for the situation if the star is present at the front or at the end now for the situation 3 case 3 this is third case ka case 3 we have to whenever we have to actually have star character present at the mid now there will be two string a b so we have to check that we can actually replace this star with any uh, character any number of character so i'll check this string a is present as a substring in the string s similarly for the string b is present at the right side of this string as a substring so if the position of this suppose this string a uh, in the string s um, is position is suppose uh, p1 till p2 okay the index starting index is p1 and the ending index is p2 or it is matched as a substring in the string s okay now the this string b present as a substring in the string s the position is p3 starting index is p3 and ending is p4 if it is has to be a part of the substring then what will be the condition we can actually manage whatever the actual character present in this in between p2 p3 p2 p3 till p3 from p2 till p3 we can actually uh, replace that by using star character correct we can actually take any number of character so if it is possible as a substring is present this situation this string a is present uh, present as a substring in the string uh, from p1 to p2 then we can actually say that p2 if p2 is less than p3 then if it is possible if it is this substring is present both the substring a and b present and the pos position is the ending position of string a p2 is less than as the starting index of the string b in the string a is less than p3 then it will be actually part of the substring like valid substring correct this will be this string has to be present at the right side of the string a correct suppose our string s is a b c d e and our pattern is a b star d e 
okay so our string a is a b string b is b e so we have to check that that a b is present from here to here this now we have to check that this d e this string string b the next string it has to be present the right side of this string whatever the actually string a is present right side of this then actually we will check if both are actually string a and b string b both are part of both strings uh, present as a substring then whatever the actually character present in between we can actually handle that by using star correct so that's why you can check a b is present in the this here and d is present here so in between c will be replaced with if i replace with star with c you can check this will be present as a substring correct so that's why we have to return true correct got the got the actual logic the induction is clear if you have any doubt you can comment on that now go to actually code so first of all find the position of the star so i am just initially it is zero and i am just iterating the string p okay i'll check whatever the position actually it is star i will just store the uh, store the index and break from that position if it is position at the front then position will be zero else if it will be at the end this is for start it is position at the end and this is for mid in between so if it is as a front then what will happen uh, we have to find out uh, the string the remaining string uh, remaining string after uh, if we remove the star so that's why i am finding out the uh, modified string pp the substring from index 1 to the remaining index correct because we have to just uh, remove the star now we'll find out what is the length on and length to for the string uh, the modified string pp and the uh, actual string s so if the length one the mod modified string uh, the pp if length is already greater than the modified string then it can't be possible as substring right the length of here actually is 4 now now st string s length is 3 how it is possible as substring so that's why i will return from here false okay else what will check else i will check that it is a part of a substring or not present as a substring or not so i will starting from i is equal to 0 i less than equal to length 2 minus length 1 length 1 is pointing to the length of the uh, this uh, string s and length 1 is pointing to the uh, string pp the modified string so i will find out what is the substring present at the uh, in starting from index i to the length 1 length 1 we have to find out this substring i will try to find out the substring of this length same length now i'll compare this this is equal or not if it is equal so the temp the substring is present for this length from the string s and the whatever the string we are trying to match that if it is equal then return true correct after checking all of the uh, substring if it is not matched any any substring so that's why return false here okay now else if situation is when the position is is equal to is equal to the at the end p dot size minus 1 n minus 1 position is so i will check i will just modify the last index so that's why i'm just uh, taking the modified substring with starting index as 0 and the length will be uh, p dot size minus 1 because one character i'm trying to remove the star character and similar same way the length 1 and length 2 for the pp modified array and the length 2 is the uh, string s if the uh, the substring we are trying to match that is length is greater than the already uh, the uh, string s then return false now i will i will similarly i will match all the substring of length similar length L, l1 length 1 if it is both the substring is same then return true that is okay this is possible and else it will return false <coughs> it is clear now this is for the when we actually have the star is present at the mid so th that time i will get two string one is a one is b so that's why you can check string a is the substring starting from 0 to position or actually have, so it will actually give this string similarly for the string b will be this is string b so the starting index of string b will be position plus 1 so that's why p dot substring position plus 1 <coughs> correct and i will take the length of the this two string a dot uh, length string a and string b l1 and l2 and l3 is the uh, string s size size or length of the string s now i have to try check what i will actually uh, start from the like if there actually n is equal to 5 a b c d e this is a string s now we actually have a, a string a as a b and string b as d e so the 
we have to find out the a plus b a plus b means uh, first i will find out a then i will find out b right side of the string a so that's why first i will find out this a b and then i will find out the uh, d e now what is the minimum uh, length of the substring will be 4 because the length of this string is 2 and the length of this string b is 2 so that's why i have to search minimum 2 4 length we have to need so that's why i'm starting from i0 0 i less than equal to l3 total length minus l1 plus l2 that will be our most rightmost position of the substring it can be possible so now we'll find out the first string the string p1 starting from here to here and s dot substring from starting index i to l1 length of the first string a, a string a got it i'll check if it is matched this string a and the substring from the string s if it is matched then i have to find out the string b as a substring present at the right side or not so that's why right side we have to find out that's why we'll be starting from j is i plus l1 why i plus l1 because i have already taken i plus l i plus l1 for string um, string a for matching for to match the string a so that's why our starting will be i plus l1 next index next available index to starting for the string b and j less than equal to l3 total length minus l2 okay similarly i will, I will uh, find out the substring of length l2 from the starting index j if it is same uh, means uh, p2 the mm, substring is equal to the string b then return true like we have found uh, two string that is pressed as a substring first i will find the a then in the right side of that a we have found another string b as a substring so that's why we can actually match that and return true and after all of this if we, none of this actually match then return false and by default we have to return false here okay it is clear please actually uh, try to understand by situation wise like position wise position of the star what is this uh, if this is present at the front then how actually we can actually uh, match that if it is present at the end then how can actually match and the mid then it will be easy to understand if you like the expressions please like the video if you not yet subscribe please subscribe the channel thank you if you have any uh, comment or any suggestion you can comment on that bye